Literally every page of this is gonna be like most of your guys' childhood. And then we get Whoa! Oh. What up, Rep Bag? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are Nickelodeon magazine, please flip. Nickelodeon magazine, please. It's about to get a whole lot right in Rep Bag because your boy is here. And if you guys don't remember that old classic jingle, every time I heard that I was already scrambling for the phone and asking just to think of, think of the next excuse for my mom to order. <laughs> but today, guys, I, in this box, bought somebody's entire Nickelodeon magazine collection. As you guys know, I collect a lot of Nickelodeon stuff. We got the Reptars right here. Your boy, King Reptar. We got the freaking Red and Stimpy cereal. We got the Nickelodeon pin, the boy pin. There's all types of stuff. That's just some stuff I've dragged out here to show you some examples. One of the things that I have never been fortunate enough to get, even when I was a child, my mom deprived me of it because we didn't have the money or something like that. I mean, how rude, right? Yeah, how how selfish. Selfish? Are you, oh, oh, we need food and you're your stomach. Oh, no, I don't. I need Nickelodeon magazine, please. Okay, so I never got them. But I went online I found an auction where somebody was selling their entire collection. So I was like, I can buy his childhood. <laughs> We're going to pop into this right now. It's going to be a lot of fun. The reason why in particular is we have... Have a bunch of magazines in here from different eras. Oh, <laughs> just Man. right off the bat, we got Jimmy Neutron or, or James Isaac Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna be the fun of today, guys. Is these books are like the nostalgia Bibles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've shown you guys a lot of stuff on this channel, a lot of amazing Nickelodeon products, a lot of amazing games, all types of crazy stuff. But in these books, this was all the advertising, all the designing, all the drawing, the artwork was directed for the people that are buying this stuff in that time period. So when we go through this, we're gonna get to see like the history of Nickelodeon, but not just Nickelodeon, but like every 90s and early 2000s kids like popular pop culture. It's really. like a it's like a snapshot of the time period. Yes, and just off the bat, I have not seen any of the covers, but we got Jimmy Neutron right here. We're gonna be going through this. Let's get started, guys. I am beyond excited just to dig into these books and see what kind of crazy stuff we can find. Are you sure you wanna open them? Cause this that's Sealed. Yeah. Oh, you're not lying. This is actually sealed. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys, I may be really giddy throughout this entire video because literally every page of this is gonna be like most of your guys' childhood. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Let's cut this thing open. Let's take a look at the first page. What do you think is gonna be there? What do you, if you were to guess a celebrity, a, a, a show, anything that could be there? Yes. I'm gonna guess a got milk ad. I, I, I have no guess. Like, I, All I, right. can't, I can't even think of one. Let's see what we got on the first page. Ow! Oh my god, that is perfect. First page, I'm freaking out. I, where do they even, I don't even know what these are, dude. This is definitely something you're gonna be looking up and buying. This is something I'm looking up and buying right now. <laughs> <laughs> They have Spongebob cheese sticks, Parker. In 2002, you could go to the store, bro, and get cheese sticks with Spongebob on them, man. And you also get a free bendy, squeezy keychain toy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Spongebob cheese sticks. Man, I would love to have any of those still in the packaging. We're not gonna look through every single thing, guys, just because it's realistic what we have to do. Oh my God, look at that. Look at the, look at the clothes. Look at the outfit. <laughs> we have Stuart <laughs> Little 2, two. the game. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That PlayStation. Look at this. Look at that. Looks awful. That looks so bad. But at that time, that was like, wow. There's kids still that love those graphics. Oh, Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god, god dude. Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter was the king, man. He's Aaron Carter. He dunked on Shaq. There's nothing more boss than Aaron Carter. Cause that's how I beat Shaq. Let's keep it moving. Oh, moved. honeycomb. Oh my god, that was good. Oh yeah, and so were the commercials. Me one honeycomb. Hey, dude, the freaking sours. We got sours right here, guys. These are like an old school. Do they still have these? I haven't seen them. I don't know if you could, but I definitely know you couldn't win a razor. Oh, <laughs> oh Oh, we got the celebs. We got Hillary Duff when she was in her prime. We got Lee Malcolm. McGuire. Oh, yeah. We got Malcolm when he was still in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, do you even remember this show? That's Thornberries. And then that's, you know, Arnold. But then I, I remember <laughs> that that look, that those eyes. I, you know, even, even for me, that wasn't a show that I watched a lot. I remember that show, but I don't remember it a lot. But the fact that it's there is just crazy. Because that's what I was telling Parker before we got started with this. You're going to see stuff in this that was stuff that maybe was around for like one year because it was the year they made the magazine. So it may be something that was like only on for like one episode that you in particular remember, but nobody else does. Damn. What? People are paying tens of thousands of dollars for the key to success. And you can get them right in here with this magazine. It's even yeah. like Space Kid Academy. Don't you want to look bewildered like him? 
<laughs> Dude, they literally have Burger King Jimmy Neutron. Apparently they have toys. I didn't even know they made Jimmy Neutron toys. I think I actually remember them. I feel like I did. I feel like I had a Jimmy one. You were able to freaking win a contest to be a voice in the Jimmy Neutron video game. Somewhere out there, this video game exists. They're playing it. You can play this game today. And some kid who submitted a freaking contest in Nickelodeon Magazine in 2002 is that voice. That is so sick. That is dope. Okay. These are postcards from space you can send to your family members. These are just bad. They're just <laughs> bad writing. It's Otter This World. Like, oh. that's like, oh. I'm a pun enthusiast. I like <laughs> puns. I enjoy word connections. Okay, that is just bad. Well, how about this? Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna come it. <laughs> <laughs> that's just gross. All right, so this next one, guys, is a product. And if I can find this, I will do a video on it. <laughs> Nibble notes. <laughs> oh, my God. On paper, you can eat. Yes, write a secret message. On paper, you can eat. You write, like, right here, Sean is cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I regret, immediately regret writing that, so I'm gonna- I don't want anybody to know that John is cute! <laughs> if you have something to share, maybe you could share it with the entire class. <laughs> what is this? I, I don't- what is Galador? I, I am like somebody that I consider myself deeply, 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 I mean balls deep and fraud in 90s and early 2000s culture. And I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah. This, I this might be like, it's just awful. Apparently. It might be super obvious for somebody. It's just one of the things that I miss. But what is this? This is what I'm talking about. You can only find this kind of stuff in a Nickelodeon magazine. All right. So we got another game right here. Let me know if you guys had this game. This is freaking GTA Mickey Mouse edition. <laughs> this dude pulled a freaking six star. <laughs> I've never even escaped a five star. And Mickey's over here getting six stars? Dude. Call Franklin. Call Trevor. <laughs> he needs some help. <laughs> we didn't do a single damn chore and you hear the garage door? <laughs> <laughs> right here we got Toucan Sam from Fruity Loops. The only reason I bring this up is it's actually a new Toucan Sam. They got rid of the original. What? Yeah, there's a new Toucan Sam on screen right here. Tell me why his mouth is on his on his like beak. What was wrong with it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Apparently this one wasn't good enough. Why is why is the letters look like it's written in a metal belt <laughs> album cover? <laughs> that looks like the intro of any any episode of Fine Freak. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh my God, Monster Inc. was going just on to- Just Monster Inc. It was just going on to DVD for the first time. <laughs> oh my God, dude. We got Jackie Chan's Adventures, Scooby-Doo, oh. and we got Mucha Lucha. With, with, oh. Side. Holy crap. Our host is Joe. Dude, it's the whole WB lineup. What? Oh my God, guys. So what you guys have to realize that this is the stuff that when we were in school, everything that I cared about was getting out at three o'clock for this <laughs> right here. What? This lineup. You got Pokemon. You got Yu-Gi-Oh. You got freaking Jackie Chan's Adventures. Osmosis Jones. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> okay, guys. So the next one we're doing is literally insane because the WB lineup is ridiculous because we're going to see what was on TV and they were promoting for kids at the time. We went to WB. Look what was on ABC. <laughs> We got Lizzie McGuire. We got Recess Classic, Kim Possible, and tell me if you guys remember Timo Supremo. This is freaking crazy, <laughs> man. Okay, now we got a freaking, you know like how you go buy, you know, I'm not gonna say the name, but you go buy an adult magazine, they got the pinups where it's like you, you pull out the picture to open the whole book and it's there. Yep. You pin it right up on the wall. Absolutely. Nice big whatever, you know? You know. But <laughs> what about instead of some nice big fat those, you guys have nice, big, fat liars. They made a two-page <laughs> freaking advertisement for Big Fat Liar. At some point in time, Amanda Bynes and Frankie Muniz pulled in enough viewership to where they spent money to make a two-page ad for this movie. And then we got freaking Power Rangers. And, oh, I was right! Yeah, there it I is. I was right! I knew that they always had those Got Milk ads. I just didn't know where it was going to be. But right there, we got the Got Milk ad right there. Okay, so that's our first bag right there and that right there just took us through like so many memories oh absolutely Instantly. i can't even i can't even i can't even wait to see what's, <laughs> what's going on later no we're gonna do that we're gonna skip the romeo one we're gonna, we're gonna look at that one but we're gonna skip it just to try and get a missed cover so we get a mystery cover let's just grab one from the backs here oh yes oh my god oh yes oh my god <laughs> oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes yes we have the collector's edition sponge ultimate spongebob issue so this right here rep pack and you take a close look i was gonna say stephanie Bo, but it actually was sent to Bo Foster Care. So Stephanie Bo at Bo Foster Care. So that's she, probably uh, someone who ran like their own at foster home, and they yeah. bought this just to kind of entertain the kids. That is insane that what? we are looking through something that. Not to say obviously foster kids are you know it's a 
terrible situation, but it's like the thing is, is like they don't have a lot. So this is probably very important to somebody. Yeah, just like looking and seeing what's happening, like what's going on, what's relevant. I'm very excited to look through this, and you guys know it's Nickelodeon. I will respect this thing till the end of its life. So these are all going in the collection to be protected for years. Let's check out and see what's inside of this thing. All right, let's do the big reveal. First off, look at that beautiful artwork on the front with SpongeBob's reflection showing all these fish that I'm actually aren't even bikini bottom fish. This was drawn by some Nickelodeon magazine, you know, illustrator, but that's okay because it's still sick. Let's go ahead and do the first page. Hey, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot this movie even existed. Shorts. <laughs> Plankton Darth Vader. Now that is an awesome image that I liked right there. Oh, all right, let's keep it moving. Oh, dude. Look at all of these different SpongeBob's. Right here, guys. These are all freaking SpongeBob's that were made to look like the different workers that worked at Nickelodeon Magazine. That is awesome. But we saw this number right here. Call for your subscription. I just want to see if their number is still open. Like, I'm not going to make a subscription right now, but I just want to see if the number is still open. All right. This is the same number all these years later. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. If you are over 50, please press 1. What now. is this number now? If not, press 2. I'm not over 50. You, you, you press 2. Thank you for calling the Medical Alert Center. This is Jessica on a recorded line. Can you hear me okay? I'm okay. This isn't Nickelodeon Magazine? Great. So, uh, with our promotion today, you actually have the opportunity to receive a free medical alert device. So, congratulations. For, um, this is a person. This is a now, scam. The number is a scam now. Hello, hello. That's not a person. Somebody made the number a scam. You should, you should go call back and press two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have filed a number that is not available for area. What? Now it's not available. And it just hung up on me. That's a scam. That wow. is 100% sure a scam. Wow. For advertising information. Oh my God, can you imagine? We went through a lot of dark things. We went through a foster home book, to now uh, developing, a, oh, finding a scam. I invest say you buy some Nickelodeon magazines. It's just a fun time. Anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, Rep Pack. Let's keep moving in the adventure that is Nickelodeon magazine. All right, guys. So this is the SpongeBob Collector's Edition. So they had a whole si a whole piece in here that is literally about the development of SpongeBob. Right here, we got some awesome artwork. We have the sketchboards. We got the statue they have in the studio lobby. Insane. But then over here, we actually have a a bunch of different like parody yards. So down here we got Plunge Bob, <laughs> which is sick, but also gross. Parker's like, this is a Silver Surfer movie cover right here. Yeah, or, <laughs> or the Fantastic Four, which, well, cause this, we found out this, this magazine's in 2009. 2009, a little newer. Little so newer. 2009, that might be Fantastic Four. I forgot what, that, that, that like movie Fantastic sucks, Four, but... Rise of Silver Surfer. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that makes sense. So there's Galactus, the thing, freaking Silver Surfer, it's sick. <laughs> then over here we got Wizard of Oz. We got the freaking classic, you know, oh, Kaiju man. fighting. And then right here, obviously, right now is super popular is Spongebob anime in real life. Right here, you got an actual Spongebob manga design. I'm not gonna lie, Sandy looks sick, and Patrick looks sick. Spongebob looks cute, but he looks, no. he looks interesting. Yeah, he looks interesting to say the least, but <laughs> he's still sick. And over here, we got adult, real-life Patrick and a real-life Spongebob and real-life Squidward. <laughs> Alright, guys, so in this one, there's a full base comic book. Obviously, I can't go too deep into that, but read it when you guys get a chance. It's amazing. But, on the magazine right here, we got the Spongebob's viewer guide right here. We got Spongebob and all of the extended family. We got his uncle. We got his freaking Mr. Krabs mom. We got Patrick's mom. It's not even his real mom. <laughs> <laughs> we got everybody. We got Sheldon's whole family. Then over here, guys, we have an amazing illustration by Steven Hillenberg. This was actually one of the original story, mini storyboards that he made actually when coming up with the production idea to give to Nickelodeon. Look down here, that little Hillenberg right there. The show wasn't even called Spongebob. It was called Sponge Boy. It literally, he had everything planned out in the show, but he had the name Sponge Boy at the time, but unfortunately this name Sponge Boy was actually taken, trademarked, so he had to switch the name to something else and ended up going with Sponge Bob Squarepants, which I think has a way better ring. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I mean, Steven Hillenberg had, you guys would be mind blown at how much he had drawn out before we even saw it. Stuff in like, the, I mean, obviously a lot of people know this movie was supposed to be the ending of the series, but stuff even past that were still, is Steven Hillenberg's expanded ideas, and till this day, you know, as with most art, it will fall Far, far, far outlived the artist. I mean, also the fact that like he had like, almost a couple seasons worth of stuff. Yeah. Like before he even got accepted. It is insane. Steven Hillenberg, I mean, he was born to make that show. He made that show and nothing really else because that show was his destiny. And I, I and many other people are beyond grateful for its existence. So let's 
let's keep it moving. We got that right there now. Steven Hillenberg's original SpongeBob sketches. Then, next page, we got some more artwork over here, SpongeBob. We got the Are You Ready verses. These are extended versions of the original SpongeBob SquarePants song. They're unofficial, but I just think it's funny. I just want to share all this with you guys. You guys can pause it if you guys want to. And over here, we got where you can actually draw your porpoise pail, SpongeBob. You can literally take these little pieces right here, read the whole thing, and get a better idea, which is absolutely amazing because as a kid growing up, I mean, as you can see now, I'm in entertainment. And it's like, it's amazing that they gave some ki you know, kids the structure of how to draw their favorite character. Yeah, exactly. Just you know? so they can express it. Who knows what that expression turns into? Well, you know, everybody's expression turns into something, right? That is absolutely insane they have that on there. But let's see what we got after here. Then we got these right here for this one. We got Sponge Doku. Then we got Bubble Trouble. My favorite question on here, Sin Shy Cake. That's like a girl that's like thick, but she don't really know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> we got I Took Mint Bib. And then over here, this is my favorite one. It's great. This one's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bikini bottom license in this magazine. Oh my god. So you can play these games over here. You got vowel play. You've got jellyfish jam, like the jellyfish jam band. And then right here, we got this whole Patrick's best memories. This whole thing drawn out exclusive content of Patrick's diary. That is un- Believable. I know. Do you still have your license? I do still have my license. I just, I do still. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like that's just so sick. It's super sick. The next right here, we got the Krusty Krab ad. My favorite thing. First off, this looks like a real ad. They've been in black and white because they're too cheap. Mr. Krabs is too cheap. These color. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like the subtle details. Like, yeah. Not even the, the patty looks appetizing, but he doesn't care. He's saving that dime. Yeah, it's like the subtle details that they just put this in black and white because he's cheap. And then right here, we got a bikini bottom license. SpongeBob may not have earned his, but you can write yours down right here. Here. Cut this thing out, dude. Put that in your binder. That is cool. Dude, look at the freaking look at the, the hours. Open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. <laughs> and then, oh, dude, these are all free come along. These are things that came for free in the magazine. Doorknob hanger. Dude, are you a doorknob serious? hanger. A doorknob hanger. An underwear alert. Okay, probably should put that one on, unless, unless you really are an underwear alert. And then we got have a nice day. Oh, more door hangers. We got if you can see me, you are too close to the door. Go away. <laughs> that one says hey come on in the show's going on <laughs> man dude it just keeps getting crazy there's more comic books first off villains club that whole thing i bet you was filled with lemons <laughs> but dude you know an orca well they made a killer well in spongebob but they made him like freaking venom oh my god <laughs> that is so dope i mean obviously he's a little bit more tubby than venom but he's a well that is so dope right here dude you literally see this is a nickelodeon family suites this place is closed down now buy three nights get two nights for free. What? What kind of <laughs> deal is that for a hotel? That's all. We're trying to stay open prices. <laughs> all right. Last page for this one. I actually have this book right here. This is the actual DVD when SpongeBob got the round pants. Oh, <laughs> he got the B. Normal. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We right here, Timmy and Jimmy, the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. If you guys don't know what this is, Rep Pack. So you know how Endgame was like, you know, the biggest collaboration. <laughs> Imagine that Endgame, that whole cast, made an entire movie with the cast of Game of Thrones, and they all were like, no, no, we're not working too well together. Let's all quit, and then join this whole group with everybody that works for Fox. Jesus. That's what this is. Oh my God. <laughs> the greatest collaboration of all time. All right, we got Timmy and Jimmy, where they both switched worlds. Timmy went into Jimmy world that Jimmy went into Timmy's world. Iconic episode. I would say probably the most iconic TV special to come out for our generation. Ooh. That's and Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's definitely up there. I, mean, I love, was... like, obviously I love Spongebob, but I think that this even passes, like, best day ever. Like, I think it even passes, like, Spongebob block party. The it's thing like... was, was that, like, people didn't realize that the, the audiences for, for Jimmy Neutron and Fairly Odd Parents were so close together. Yeah. They were so mixed that when this came out, it was like, oh my god, people, other people know about this. Yeah, it was just so memorable. Like, there's definitely SpongeBob episodes that I'd say were better than this episode. Other things that happened that were great, but this was just such a memorable thing because it's just like, how? How are these things happening? Especially because they picked the show like Jimmy and Neutron where you'd least expect a collaboration. Oh yeah, exactly. It's like, how are they gonna do that? They're gonna make what SpongeBob in 2D? I mean, little do we know, years later that'd be a thing. But <laughs> <laughs> at that time, it was, it was mystery. So last book, guys. I thought we'd be able to get through more of these. We'll maybe get through two 
two more. We went through two more. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but if you guys want to see more of these, let me know. All right, Jimmy versus Timmy. What's the first page got? Neopets. <laughs> well, that's a throwback for sure. We got Neopets. If you even know what a Neopet is, let me know. Okay, so in the Jimmy TV Power Hour, right here we got a the wow. early, early freaking like probably one of the first DVDs to come out for the show. Yeah, it's book, <laughs> it's book one. It came with the card. If anybody has that card, let me know. That's sick. I, I honestly think I do. Send it in your PSA. <laughs> if you guys want to see Avatar card, I'm, I'm down for it. I don't know what they look like, but. <laughs> and then not just that, they actually have a Jimmy Timmy freaking comic book that actually merges the two together as well, but it actually takes place they're both inside the same universe for a time period. <laughs> Dude, look at that. Cartoon Network. Dude, I never talk about it enough, but Ben 10 is genuinely one of my favorite shows of all time. And there's not enough product for it. Like, I wanted to do a, a whole Ben 10 video, but there's just not enough product for it. But back then, dude, Nick, Nick Magazine didn't give a damn. They were like, <laughs> you got money and you want to advertise for kids? Even if you're a Cartoon Network, we'll put you in the magazine. Yeah, they got a fat ad. Yeah, two pager, man. It's like, this is as big as a big fat liar ad. So right here. All right, so right here, we got some celebrity fun. And that is awesome. We got a lot of people's first crush right here. We got Emma Roberts, and we got some more Emma Roberts, and we got a lot of other people's first crush. We got Drake Bell. Oh, yeah. And then we have the sex god <laughs> deity, Ebony God Cookie. <laughs> You guys haven't seen that's declassified. Just watch it. You need to. All right, so Jimmy Timmy, that was awesome. 2006. I had to pull the boy Romeo out because he was one of the top ones. This one's from 2003. Let's check it out. I mean, first off, we talk about the rules. He had a little pumps haircut before a little pump. Oh my god. <laughs> Diamond earring. So let's check out the first. Oh! Ooh, right there! We got Pokemon pinball advertisements! I Holy do, crap! I obviously remember that game. I, I, was I have that ask. game sealed! <laughs> Dude, that was so fun. That is classic right here. This means that this magazine was made like Prime Ruby and Sapphire then. That was a great time. That was a great year. 2003, 2004. That is when Ruby and Sapphire came out. Like around that time period. I could be hopefully I'm right, right? 2003? I, I mean, I feel like it. That is awesome, dude. Just to have advertisement from that original day. We are mind blown right now because Parker was reading I was just like any advertiser kid and I was checking out this human bodies issue and he said secret agent Cody Banks. I'm like what? And then I looked and like he is way less cool than I remember. He is not. Look at those. What, look at What is that? When I was a kid that was like Shaq having a kid with Zac Efron. The definition of cool. <laughs> Alright? Just the coolest something could get. And now he just looks like a freaking tw like a, a twerp. Why does he look like Jason Biggs' younger brother? He looks like Jason Biggs when Jason Biggs <laughs> thought he was Biggs before he was big. <laughs> <laughs> oh! The Duelist League. We got season two, Duelist League. They want me? They want you, Uncle. They were using freaking American Uncle Sam branding back then, man. Oh, <laughs> Remember when Kelly Osborne looked like Chicken Little? <laughs> I do, as a matter yes. of fact. And there's still ads for nibble notes. That lasted for at least a year. At least? No. These are nibble notes that you put up. That's what I said about the other one. I said that you'd write on your skin. These are nibble notes that go on your skin. They're tattoos that you can lick off. Oh. Lick off tattoos. Lick them, stick them, eat them. Well, that, that could be misconstrued. Just move on. Man, maybe some of those these guys get some of those for those tribal tattoos. Oh my god. You don't need that many. You just <laughs> probably could feed you a couple days off of that. You know, one kid that may be even smarter than Jimmy? Who? Dexter. Oh yeah. <laughs> and right here, you could have used this advertisement and found out about the Dexter bed linens. Even the bed curtain is Dexter. <laughs> and then right here, we got Saturday nights just got Romeo. <laughs> He had two chains before two chains. And he had a freaking chain back when he was born. <laughs> and then right here, guys, came out at freaking 8 p.m. This is like your late night show. <laughs> that was that was pushing it. You're kind of stay out here a little bit longer. I might be a nick at night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude! Oh my god. Do you god. remember the push pops? I do. I remember I re those. I mean, obviously you remember those. Okay, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old rapper. Oh, the man. rapper is green labeled. I did not know that the original SpongeBob pots came in a, a green label. And then right Right here, I had so many of these in my fridge, dude. I would eat those things like crazy, those push pops. Cause you couldn't get these ones right here. You can get those ones in the store, but you can get them push pops in the store. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would always buy the six. I, maybe. I had a lot of push pops. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through the page, I think I found something. We got holes <laughs> right here. That is so sick. Dude, what is he up to? What is X-Ray up He's to? He's finding something. <laughs> <laughs> that's phase rain. <laughs> 
Tell me that doesn't look like face rain. Oh That's my face rain. God. And then we got zero. <laughs> I got zero to hero. Oh. And then we got the holes over here. Freaking Shia LaBeouf wasn't even a headliner at that time. I know. What the heck? And then, what is this? 2003 magazine. Transformers 1 came out 2007. Yes, most importantly, because the Camaro was re-released. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my goodness! <laughs> We have an entire SpongeBob back to school advertisement page. Oh my god. You don't have any of this. I do have a lot of that. What are you doing? What are you talking about? What, what, talking what about? are you doing? I have that. I have the aquatic that, amigos. Yeah, that. Yeah, but that's that is just that. But I don't have the rest of that. That saying. is insane. I need this lunchbox. I need this backpack. I need this notebook. Need I need this. I don't need that shirt. I don't need that shirt. I really don't need yeah, that, you that shirt. You can use that shirt. I can't use that shirt. I can use it as a cloth to clean my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I'm not using it for nothing else. Well, how about this with Eliza Thorne? That's what I was gonna say. Now that I 100 percent need. I rule my world. That is sick. It's got a Nickelodeon crown. Who else better to have this than that than me? That is perfect. But the question is where? And that is why. That is why this channel is a thing. Hunting these things down, finding them, documenting them, and most importantly, having fun with them. So hopefully we can find some of this stuff right here. Dude, the cool tops. That could you can pop this thing open had juice in it. Do you remember the spin pops? Where you had oh. the button to spin the popsicle around? I do. I like yeah. where where are these things? Where are these things? Where can I find them and how can I open them? Dumpster. <laughs> yeah, gone. <laughs> literally dumb. gone from existence. This is another two-page ad right here. My favorite thing about this one, though, says you could have entered this contest and Nickelodeon would take over your school, play live music, and not just that, give your entire school Reese's Pieces. That is freaking sick. Like you imagine that. I just want to know the kids that experienced this. Like, somebody won this contest. Right? I mean, because people entered this and it, it, someone had to have won. Somebody was at school and they took over your school. If you're in the comments, let me know down below and I want proof. That is absolutely awesome. You get a free shirt, too. That is like, <laughs> the things are the free shirt is like, now you know this shirt is like $70 on eBay. I know, right? <laughs> a vintage Nickelodeon shirt giveaway exclusive. Like a free shirt today is just like, okay, well, every, I, everybody has some entrepreneur friend that, that makes shirts. That has a shirt. Yeah. Company. Yeah. <laughs> it's but so it's like, like back then, you're like, a free shirt and it's probably vintage design. Something tangible that I didn't pay for? Yes. Uh, I'll take it. Dude, bubble tape. They don't even have the sour apple. Okay. Start the petition. We all know if you get a bite of a six foot bubble tape and you take it any way else other than pulling it out, you just bite into that thing like a donut, you're an animal. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're sick minded. But I am saying a petition. They need to bring back the sour blue raspberry and oh the sour apple. Yeah, that was so good. Those are the flavors. But you know what's sad, dude? Is like, we're starting to get to the point now in our time and our lives where, and you guys too, where advertising, I mean, mag when's the last time you seen the magazine? The doctor's office? Uh, I think about, well, I actually looked through and read was like, probably two years ago. Exactly, like you don't see magazines very often. Yeah, you see them on the side at Walmart, but it's there, they're there until they're not. And I think a couple years down the line, you might not even see this anymore. So paper advertisements like this might be a thing of the past. You won't see an ad for bubble tape unless it pops up on your Instagram feed. And that was because you said it two minutes earlier. <laughs> and, you got, and you got some dunce just like standing there just like, oh, hey guys, uh, stop scrolling for a second, you know? Exactly, man. Now we have what's called targeted advertising where you can speak and say things and then all of a sudden they can find Find your interest, then make the advertisements for you. Back then, they had to convince you to like the product. That's, oh God, I love that because you had the power. You had the power. You man. had the power to make the choice, but nowadays they know what you want before you even know what you want. <laughs> and that's kind of what I wanted to make this video about, guys. I mean, I know it's just magazines, but it's been a lot of fun going through them with you guys with Parker. This is just mind blowing. <laughs> you guys want to see more of them? They are definitely there. I am gonna have to resist the urge to try and go through more of those, but I will do it until this video was public and you guys have decided if you guys want to see more let me know oh what is this what the heck okay so this right here guys i'm not gonna say i have it i'm not gonna say i don't have it but if i were to stream ps2 i would be using that controller and i might be streaming ps2 <laughs> i do not know or even knew this existed a light up screen light for the game boy advance rep pack if you guys are younger you guys might not even believe this but at some point in time your screen didn't have a light in it you could not play it at night time if i had my game boy color and i wanted to play Pokemon Gold. I had to go find the nearest lamp in the living room, and it better be on still, because if it's not, I'm going to bed. <laughs> so, this right here, this is called under the blanket coverage. You go under the blanket with this guy right here, and you can play all night long. I need, absolutely need, this bubble blowing SpongeBob light for the Game Boy Advance. Doesn't have to be new. I just need that thing to go onto a Game Boy. And dude, check out the Toys R Us logo. It's not even Toys R Us the same anymore. It's still Toys R Us, but it's not the same colors. Teamed up with Amazon. What? 
is 2003. This isn't the Amazon we know. The Amazon was just like, oh, okay, I'll work with you because we don't have no name. <laughs> this, that was back when they were selling books. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Look at the GameStop logo. It has all these like subsidiary companies like Funland. And I don't know, maybe these are what GameStops were called in other, in other states. I have no clue what those mean, but it's definitely not there these days. Oh, you, dude, look at this Ash. It's like Ash right here. Resident Evil Pokemon? Whoa, so we have like, a zombie squirtle back there in the hazmat suit Ash. <laughs> dude, I would love to be a part of the freaking Nickelodeon club. You got freaking a free SpongeBob baseball hat. I don't have it. Freaking four special edition magazines. Don't have them. We got extras like trading cards. Who even knows what those cards could be? I know, right? Like, that kind of speaks to this channel. Look. It's making my heart hurt. I can't understand it because I don't know what they are. It's like aiming for something and you don't see a target. What do you aim for? That's when you call in That's really what they call philosophical. hope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing but hope. And it also has stickers, posters, calendar. I would love to even see what that I those items are. Right here, dude. Check that out. Oh, Escape. Oh my god. Wow, that's like that's like everybody's goal right now. Yeah. I mean, this is back in the days though where your mom would take you to the store and you'd just be in there freaking shopping for however long because she couldn't try them on, you know, by ordering them online and then sending them back. So she had you had to wait there. You had your escape. <laughs> and then right here we have the ads for them. The Game Boy Advance SP in red and also in black. Damn, I gotta ask, what color did you have? Oh they my had God. four colors that came out. The blue, black, the red, the silver. Which one was I it? I remember. I actually got, me and my brother both got indigo blue. Nice. I had the, I think it was actually called fire red, which was the actual color of the SP is called. And I had fire red inside of it. I remember. <laughs> yeah, I had the indigo blue and I had sapphire version. Perfect. Those and you're just, always, ooh. those look so much cleaner. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what kind of Game Boy Advance SP do you guys have now? The one I have now is, I call it SP Orange Bob. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Oh, the one I have is the uh, um, the classic. Nice. Yeah. Sick. Ooh, wait, one more thing. This is Nickelodeon's Jimmy Neutron Blast Off. This was a Universal Studios Orlando ride that is not even around anymore. They closed the ride down. If you, if you're somebody, I can't afford it, for, but somebody online who's watching this just wants to throw a thousand dollars out there from Jimmy Neutron merch, right now, the only existing merchandise for this, you can get a sign, a display sign that points to the direction of the ride. Really? Yeah, Jimmy Neutron Blast Off sign that points to the direction of the ride. That is sick. It's very sick. I'd love to own it, but it's very pricey, but it's still available. So that is actually it for these ones, guys. I cannot believe you own the four. I know, right? Like all of that content, <laughs> all of what we just did for yeah. four mag and we skipped through some stuff. A lot of stuff too. Like there was a lot of stuff that I skipped because I was just like, we have to get through some of the books because I just won. So it ended up with four. But if you guys want to see more, let me know. I will definitely get into these ones right here. I can even order some more. And maybe we'll go through like more of a power hours going through them a lot quicker. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below how you guys like this. But most importantly, making sure you guys smash the like button to support this series. And also, check out this video on your screen right here, which will actually send you over to the last epic Nickelodeon promo stuff. I actually bought every single Nickelodeon SpongeBob promo I could find online. Go check that out, guys. You will see some items you have literally never seen before and some you might not ever see again so go check that out and i'll see you guys over there as always rep pack i will see you beautiful people in the next one adios <laughs>